I've done some art shopping. And with the Christmas sales, look how many 60 colouring pencils. This was 11 pounds on special, down from 21 pounds. So, happy, happy. I'm gonna open my colour pencils and show you the whole selection of colours I've got. How good is that? That's so many colours. I was so excited. I haven't had colour pencils in so long and I only have a very limited um, selection of pro markers that I brought over from New Zealand with me. So I can, I've never been able to, since I've been here, just have some bright colours in my sketchbook because the paper is not going to be able to withstand any kind of paint um, and that's the only medium I have for fun colours at the moment. Until now! Now I've got all these and I can't wait to do a bunch of sketching. As well as those, I've got a little on a spending spree because I wasn't expecting so many things to be on special, but I got a flat tipped watercolour brush, which is just pro, a pro art white nylon brand. Um, I just, I want to do more landscapes and all my watercolour brushes are like the round tip ones. So I think that this will be helpful for getting some more sharp and like some more dynamic lines when, um, when painting landscapes. I also got another gel pen. I used to always have a white gel pen. But I've not in a long time, but they're so good for like little details or highlights or little sparkles or, or anything on, um, yeah, on, paintings on markers sometimes even in like a graphite drawing anything for a little pop little pizzazz let's do some painting or some drawing i'm not sure yet but i'm feeling creative i'm feeling relaxed after christmas and we're not yet in the stress of coming into new year's so i'm gonna just take a chill afternoon it's rainy it's miserable it's cold perfect time to watch something or listen to something and draw the afternoon away. When I was at the art shop and I was looking at different colored pencils, I couldn't, besides the price being so good, I also just couldn't go past Faber-Castells. I've not um, owned any art supplies from this brand in ages but I remember as a child I won an art competition and got sent out just so many different art supplies by Faber-Castells. I got colored pencils, I got markers, I got drawing books and I was obsessed. I loved them and they were always like really good quality despite being more of I think the reasonable priced um, art supply brand. But it was nice to just like re-remember how well they work. Like they're so bright and you don't have to push down hard on them to get a lot of color. They blend really nicely and they just have such a great variety of shades and colors. And um, yeah, it really, it was really so much fun just trying them in all sorts of ways and not being uh, too precious about what I was drawing or how I was coloring, but just like really playing with them and really just exploring the different ways that I could layer with pressure that I could apply with them. And the lead is really good and strong. Like you can put a solid amount of pressure on these pencils and you're not snapping the lead, which is so nice. It means you can just be way more free and way more um, aggressive, I guess, if you want, without worrying about breaking or snapping the lead while you draw. So, last video, I kind of left off on the idea of eventually making art to sell. I really like the idea of starting an Etsy store. And in the Christmas period and in the days leading up to recording this video, I have been thinking about my style a lot and the subject matter a lot and like working out what 
works for me as well as what I feel like has an audience. And it's a weird one because I've always made art for me. You know, the focus has never been on what will sell or what's trending or any of that sort of thing. And so now that I'm getting closer to the point that I want to open an online store, I've had to ponder a lot more on if there's a strong crossover between what I like to draw and what people want to buy. But not only that, but like a third option of like, what would I buy? Because sometimes those don't line up. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was chatting with someone I knew and they had been looking at my Instagram and he said that he really liked my art um, despite it not being something he would buy to hang on the wall. And then I think he felt a bit awkward because he kind of backtracked and was like, oh, I, I hope you don't take that in a bad way. Like, I don't mean that in a negative way. I really like what you draw. It's just so different to what I would buy. And that has stuck with me since because kind of same. Like I draw whatever I like and whatever I'm feeling inspired by. But it was kind of a good confronting of hearing this opinion that subconsciously also matched with mine. Like I like what I draw, but I wouldn't hang a lot of my art pieces on my wall um, and so I don't really know where to go next with this kind of thought process but I actually feel really encouraged that I'm having it because I've never thought very critically about my art in the sense of e-commerce so I am now thinking a lot about that and I'm now kind of picking out the aspects of paintings and art that I like by other artists and things that I do hang on my wall and things that I would want to buy and picking out whether it's the colors or the um, mood or the composition or the medium like picking out those things that I really like about other art and then also picking out things those sort of same topics that I like to do in my own art and then marrying up the ones that match, I feel like is the best way to find something that I would put on my wall and therefore I would hope that there'd be others that would put it on their wall as well and it'd still be something that I enjoy drawing. I don't wanna draw for the sake of trying to make money. I wanna draw because I love drawing, but I feel like now that I'm heading more in the direction of having a um, art career in mind I have to be a bit more purposeful with what I draw if it is something I want to sell so as you may expect this is taking a lot of inner searching and researching and questioning what I like and looking out in the market and seeing what does well and what lines up with what I like um, and it's something that, like I've said, I've not really thought about too heavily before. And it's something that now that I am, it's actually really hard to find resources or um, videos here on YouTube on other artists doing the same. Like I would love to sell prints, but I don't know what of my art or like how people pick what they draw they will then sell as a print like do people draw things and then think yeah that's I like that so yeah I'll make that in a print or are people coming up with an idea for a future print they want to make and so then plan out their drawing around that does that make sense like I don't know what the process is and I don't know if there's a helpful answer to the process or if it's just Everyone just does what they want and everyone's making so much art that they could just turn them all into prints. Like, I just feel so out of the loop with how people are doing that. So, I don't know if it's 
helpful to you guys um i'll probably do it regardless because it's a good exercise to actually think out loud and and um yeah just work it through with myself but i think i'll do a video on working out what you want to draw and finding your voice in the art you want to sell because it's different to not knowing what to draw you know like there are so many videos on what to do if you don't know what to draw or like 10 ways to fill a sketchbook and all those sorts of things i'm i'm not sure on things that i like drawing but it's when it comes to composing a final art piece to make into a print that i don't know maybe i'm maybe i am just overthinking it maybe there is no right answer or there is no advice or help that would help me and it's just draw draw whatever and then find an audience for it but then then i come back to the fact that like i draw whatever and i like what i draw but i won't i wouldn't go on my way to buy a lot of what i draw if i was the um if i'm the buyer so then i have to think as a seller i have to think about what a buyer would want i don't know i think i've gone along around in circles but suffice to say i love these colored pencils having so much fun with my sketchbook and i think i will make a video sometime soon about working out what to make prints on <laughs> thanks for watching guys have a happy new year catch you soon bye